Today's review is going to be four rows of single barrel. Fuck yeah, I get it anywhere, anytime, any grocery store. All right, maybe not any, but our grocery stores, you can get them pretty regularly, 45, 50 bucks tops. Hey, I'm Matt from Bourbon Benters 2020, and today is uh, we're gonna do a review on the Four Roses Single Barrel. And in the meantime, I'm working an Olivia O cigar, and it's been burning for a little while. Got a good uh, ash on there. See what happens here. And I lost the ash. And for the purists out there, you're probably wondering, how do you light that thing? Well, I did it with a torch, did a punch, and that's how I like it. Scar is great, a lot of flavor. Get a little spice out of that thing. Kind of leads to a little chocolate. Then you kind of pair it with whiskeys, get more chocolate, like a chocolate mousse, fucking great. Going to cut to the chase, working a cigar, Olivia O, and I'm going to go down the spec sheet here real quick. The mash bill on the single barrel is going to be 60% corn, 35% rye, 5% malt and barley. Proof 100, no age statement, but you know, they say it's between 7 and 9 years. MSRP's 45. The blend that they used for the single barrel is O B S V and you're going what the fuck is that all right I'm gonna give you the breakdown of how that works four roses has two different mash bills and they code it by letters E code is 75% corn 20% rye 5% malt and barley B code is 60% corn 35% rye 5% malt and barley. The B is a higher rye. There you go. So the uh, the when they do those OSV, whatever their fucking codes are, the first letter is always going to be O. It's the production facility, the Four Roses facility. The second letter is going to be the mash bill. You know, either the uh, higher rye or lower rye mash bill. The third letter is always S. I don't know why they do that, but it's always S, and it's for the whiskey distillation. For it's the straight whiskey distillation thing. So they had their rhyme and reason, but just it's that the third letter is always going to be S. And the fourth letter is the yeast strain. This is where it gets kind of tricky. There's five different yeast strains. The V is going to be like a delicate fruit type thing, t flavor. The K is going to be like a, a, a spicy type, you know, uh, flavor to it. The O is a rich fute of uh, fute. Fuck. I, I just started. I just started drinking. All right. Uh, o is going to be the rich fute. Fute. <laughs> and they did it fucking twice. O is going to be the rich, <laughs> the, the rich fruit uh, flavor. Q is going to be like a floral essence type flavor. And the F is going to be like an herbal note, like mint, experiment, things like that. So if you see a, a you know, on, on the bottle or whatever it is, like OBSV, that's the difference. So they got a total of 10 different blends I guess they can do two different mash bills I'm sorry two different mash bills two different uh, and five different yeast strains totally ten different flavor type profile that they can put in these things and the single barrel is always going to be the OBSV so the O and the S are always going to be standard B is going to be the higher rye and the V is going to be delicate fruit so this baby came at a warehouse KW I don't know if you can see that 
and it's bottle 70-2N. I don't know what that matters, but I'm sure with the bottles and things like that, if you're really, really good, really, really good, you can find out, oh yeah, that came from this, this is that yeast strain, this all. Basically the yeast strain, uh, the, the, it's gonna be an OBS feed. It's gonna taste good, it's gonna taste great, and for 45 bucks, can't fucking beat it. it. It kills all the other shit. Pour me a glass into my jar, fucking jar, living on the edge here. A little bit, eh, that's a lot. Oh well, what are you gonna do? And I'm still working the Olivia O cigar. Don't know if it's still lit, should be. Very good cigar, very tasty, light in comparison to some of the other ones that I've had. And here we go, on the nose. All right, get vanilla, get a little raisin. Maybe a little, maybe a little floral on there, not, not too sure. All right, here we go for the taste. Going for the taste. You don't buy booze to smell. All right, right up front, I'm getting fruit with some honey mixed in. Very little rice spice, but I'm getting a lot of brown sugar and oak on there. I'm gonna go for a second sip here. Yeah, still getting the honey and the fruit with a little bit of that rice spice and the brown sugar and a hair bit of oak on there. That's good. I'm gonna do one more so I can uh, kind of sit on it for a little bit and give you the finish. Oh yeah, the finish. Here we go. Kind of let it sit there for a little bit for the finish. It's 100 proof, ain't gonna kill you. Pretty even uh, middle of the road there, you know, like Eagle Rare is a 90, a Stag is a fucking 128. So it's kind of like, uh, yeah, 100, 100's easy. And I've actually had the Four Roses Single Barrel on ice. Oh, it's so sweet. It just, I think it brings out more of the fruitier flavors, the, the sweetness, the citrus, and the brown sugar and the honey in there. But for the finish there, rice spice kind of sticking around, getting a little raisin on that, a hair bit, not like the E.H. Taylor raisin. E.H. Taylor raisin was sick. It was just heavy in the raisin, which was good. Get that oak leather, which is consistent with any, you know, a lot of bourbons. Fuck, I'm doing it again. Fuck it, I'm going. Vanilla oak and leather, staples of fucking bourbon whiskeys. Getting a little of that rice spice that's kind of tingling on the back of the palate there for a little while. Maybe getting a little mint and, you know, some raisin, very little raisin. So, this is a kick-ass bottle. But all in all, this thing is great. I highly recommend it. Go out and get it. And if you think it might be a little too much or a little warm out, put it on some ice. I guarantee you're going to get a lot of flavors. You're going to really enjoy this. And when you pair it up with a cigar, holy shit, you get chocolate mousse on the end with a little cedar. It's a win-win. I'm Matt. And if you like this content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment, tell me I'm a fucking idiot, share it with your friends, spread the word, I need more subscribers. Help me out so I can get the content out to you. Watch the shorts, the shorts are coming out. I'm trying to start doing the shorts to promote the reviews. So, I'm at. Enjoy your drink. Share it with a friend. Leave the keys behind the bar. I'm out of here. Later. Peace.